So let's start by looking at petroleum refining. Here we have a petroleum refinery, and these are found all over the world. I'm sure you've seen one. As you can see, it is a very large scale process. And the reason for this is that we need the products that are coming out of this refinery because humans are big consumers of many things. And therefore, it has to be a large scale process. Now, what goes into a petroleum refinery? We start by looking at fossil fuels. Now, all fossil fuels are hydrocarbon based compounds. And this means that they have to contain carbon and hydrogen. They combust in air and oxygen, which means they can be burnt. And by doing so, they release energy. And this energy we utilize for our needs, such as electricity. So there are three main fossil fuels, the first of which is coal. Now coal generates electricity in power plants, such as this one here. Now the majority of our domestic and industrial electricity actually comes from coal power plants. But the problem with these, as you can see, is that it produces a lot of pollution. The second type of fossil fuel is natural gas. It has many, many applications, and most homes in Australia, not all, but most have natural gas for their cooking and for their heating. The third one is petroleum, which we'll be talking about today. Now, petroleum is the fuel for transport for our cars, trucks, boats, planes, all sorts of things. It's also the raw material for the petrochemical industry. And there are many things produced by the petrochemical industry, such as plastics. So let's look at how to refine petroleum. First of all, crude oil. We get crude oil. What's in crude oil? Now, petroleum or crude oil is a mixture of different hydrocarbon compounds. Now, they're all hydrocarbon compounds. So as you can see from the diagram, the majority is gasoline, which we call petrol. In the United States, they call it gasoline. There's quite a bit of diesel, which we use for diesel cars and trucks, some jet fuel, heavy fuel oil, and other products. Now we have to separate these for their uses. So we get the petroleum, but we can't just use petroleum and put it in a car. It doesn't work like that. We need to separate them for specific uses. So how do we do that? What we know is that each fraction has different boiling points. And it's this physical property of different boiling points that we utilize to separate the different fractions. To do that, we use something called fractional distillation. And this is quite an important part of this topic for you to learn. 